Welcome to the Works86 channel. My name is CJ Works, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Postmates, the pros and cons of working for them. So first off, I'm going to start with the cons, because I like going from bad to good, and in my scenario, my, 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 my mindset. And I also like going from hearing, I also like giving, I mean, solutions to problems. So that way I can be able to have a positive result, hopefully. Um, so, I'm good, bro. Thank you. I just had one, one of, <laughs> I'm out here in Coronado, California. One of the guys had just tried to drop something in the mirror for me out there. I told him, I'll be good. I got the money. Um, I didn't really need it, but it was very helpful of him to do. Uh, sorry about that distraction. You know, just to say, you know, this video is being made on July 15, 2020. I'm in a uh, Coronado waiting for some orders to pop up. I'm in the hot spot for Postmates right now as we speak. And I have not gotten an order that is in the hot spot with the bonus itself. That is one of the cons of working with Postmates. It even says when you're in their hot spots, you are likely to get a higher percentage to be able to get bonuses for that delivery in that hot spot. So that's one of the cons. They don't necessarily live up to that 100% of the time. That is not the case. I've been sitting in hot spots before and never got the bonus for that delivery. In fact, they give me a restaurant to pick up from that's outside of the hot spot and then drops me off probably four or five miles further out from the hot spot to the customer. So I do not understand why that system is not doing that. That is very, you know, devaluing it for the driver to want to continue driving it doesn't make sense so that's one of the cons that could lead you to not work for postmates or continue on i know why i know i have stopped a couple of times because i didn't i feel like it was a huge waste of my time but um it's all depending on your financial situation so but that being said um another con that i have for postmates is when you go to pick up an order say from McDonald's and you're driving over to the customer's drop-off spot and you have your push notifications on where you automatically get orders added into your route well uh, with the notification saying hey pick up from this restaurant but you do not see what the route is going to consist of and sometimes those push notifications is another con with inside that con is that when you get those push notifications sometimes they come right before or after or during the delivery the pickup the pickup order to get the food right and by the time you get to the drop-off point for the customer that push notification was canceled the order was canceled because either one you weren't getting there fast enough which means you'd be probably breaking the speed limit trying to do this um, which is completely absurd you should never get a push push order that you're gonna be outside the window for picking up for another person but getting back to that first that that I should say not first but third con was that you pick up the order right you drop it off to a customer that push notification comes back and you wind up picking up from the same place you just picked up the other order from I've had that happen to me numerous times so not only does that waste your time, money, and gas, and mileage, and pretty much longevity of the car, you you, you don't, you, you, you just not being efficient for one, yourself as a driver, or the customer receiving the food from the same place you just went to. So, that's something that Postmates really needs to improve on. I understand they're merging with Uber, but both those companies I've heard have huge issues with that. So as a driver, I want you guys to be aware of that though that particular con in a, in a nutshell because it will occur. It, it has not it's a, out of my time driving over 4 years, I've at least experienced it a, a, over 50 times. And I've had 750 deliveries and still counting. I'm I'll give you guys the numbers at some point. I'll probably put it in the blog. But anyway, 
going back to that situation, right? Um, you just don't, it just doesn't help the driver or the customer. So the other con to it is uh, for Postmates, you got to look at the orders when you pick them because when you have orders that are at least this time they show you where you pick up from and where you deliver from they used to not do that they used to only show you where you pick up from but they would give you details if it was an order pay pickup pay or prepaid pay or um, customer already paid no payment requirement you go pick it up and drop it off I love those those are the money makers right there those are the ones that are already prepaid and everything for you don't have to wait the customer's food is ready you're good to go um, the pre pickup and prepay, uh, prepay, uh, pick up and pay and order and pay orders are the one of the most time consuming ones. Even if you call over the phone to try to order the food for them, you're still going to be wasting time and not losing, uh, and losing track and focus when you uh, track and focus on your driving as well. This is like a distraction because you're looking at the order and you're trying to order it over the phone while you're driving down the road. That is not a good scenario. You know what I mean? Because your eyes are never cons never focused on a singular event long enough to make any type of correction when you're driving. So I usually, when I get when I get those, I just wait till I get to the restaurant. I send the customer a text saying, hey, it's probably going to take a little bit longer than usual. But uh, your order has been placed. So you wind up spending about maybe 40 minutes on that particular on those particular orders now the other content to that one is that's inside that problem right you have a prepay card that you get from postmates that card is what you use to pay for any order you pick up that requires it so this got me yesterday i actually had to pay out of pocket because their prepay card did not work. And I did do the step-by-step -step procedures where you go in to try to add funds to the card. And I did it at least seven times. I was hooked up to Wi-Fi. I made sure the, the internet was not interrupted. And it still did not do it. I did not understand that. And that that, that was a huge problem for me. I had to pay out of pocket $33.96. And... Uh, the only way you can fix that problem is hey go back after you get done with that delivery go back into your app go into where it has your profile go down to deliveries click on deliveries go to that particular delivery you did click on it and they will give you um, on the on the option the question mark at the top it will say um, report an issue and it will give you like options between that report an issue what for and then They'll investigate it after you get everything written up and the process goes through. It might that's the other thing, it takes a couple days for it to get back. So you just have to You have to be on top of your game with this. So and you lose you lose some money if you're not too careful, okay? Um Postmates cons. I think I've touched at least five right now. Um, maybe actually seven because they had two inside the other uh, but here's where I go with the pros okay with all that and uh, just in a nutshell with all that being done and said the best time to deliver for Postmates hands down is when they have their bonus hours and their hours where they have Pretty much three or four dollars on top of the delivery you make for the for that for those particular items. That is absolute money when you when you have that. And I say that because the base pay for per delivery for a driver is three dollars. Okay, and then you get and when you drop it off, it'll kick up to four. So you do the math. The customer's actually tipping you. You know, I don't, I don't blame people. They've already paid enough through Postmates to get the meal. And I thank every consumer that I've delivered to for every last tip they've given me. I thank you guys 100%. There's no question about that. My, it, it, It's one of those things that helps me to want to drive, you know. But at the same time, Postmates themselves, like I said, is to drive for them during the bonus hours. Because your, your, your rate per delivery, right? will not be that four or three dollars it will be that seven to eight sometimes to even ten dollars per delivery 
and then the bonus bonus uh with the bonus and then on top of that if you have another bonus on top of that it just gets it is real good where you could possibly make at least four or five hundred in a day off of 25 deliveries that's doing something that's that's changing your economic uh class right there for at least for a day you know at least for a day yeah. not everybody's gonna make four or five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars a day you know it's 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 not that far in between but it's very hard to achieve um the other thing is is a good pro for postmates is that you know you get to meet a lot of people in different areas you get to know the city you live in uh a lot better how to drive around freeways go through streets look at different events that are out there you never know because you know the internet gives you I don't want to say it, but sometimes it's really like delayed information or not accurate information. So there's sometimes you just got to get out there and see what's going on, you know, just and delivery doing food deliveries helps you do that. And it makes you more of a social person. That's the other pro to it. Uh, going back to like the financial pro of it is, is um, you get an opportunity to really offset your pay your pay period so if you use this as a second job like I do or uh, just a part-time flex job it really works out for you um, I don't feel that you are bound or bound by this business to do it they give you the optional when you want to do it because you're an independent contractor and they respect that fact um, and they don't hold it against you when you don't go online for for days, weeks, months at a time. Because as for me, there will probably be months where I'm never on because I my first job takes priority over everything. I'll tell you guys about that later in the channel, you know, as you get to know me. Um, but they they do give you that flexibility, and that's that, that's a good thing. You have some options there. So with that being said, you know the pros and cons in a nutshell, and um, for Postmates, and I hope you guys are successful or anybody wants to continue delivering or would like to actually start delivering I'll put a link in the post and you can use me as a as a reference as a recommendation and yes you have to make a certain amount of limit a certain amount uh, of deliveries to get a bonus and as you complete your deliveries you'll get that bonus and then it will kick me a bonus I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys we both profit from that if you want to if you want to use the link or give it a shot or a try um, I'm only here to give you guys the facts and give you my opinion and other people's opinions of facts. So I'm glad you guys heard me out. Thank you for everything. Um, thank you for even just listening to this channel. Thank you. It's my first time ever doing a YouTube channel. And uh, this is CJ Works, and I'm out on Works 86 channel.